So does this market rally have more room to run from here? CNBC contributor Michael Farr says yes, but Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific Capital has his doubts about what he sees in a Fed-driven market. Good to see you both. Thanks for joining us. Peter, let me kick this off with you. What's your problem with this market? Well, the problem is why it's rising. It's not because the fundamentals are improving. It's because of the Fed. We have cheap money, and so stock prices are going up. But food prices go up, uh, gasoline prices go up, and, and the macroeconomic imbalances underlying our economy continue to get worse. If the Fed did the right thing and took away the punch roll, yeah, that, the stock market would go down. But instead, we're going to have a crash in the dollar first, then probably the bond market second, and then eventually the stocks will roll over too. Yeah, but can you really say that? I mean, don't you think today's move, I'm just saying today's move, don't you think that's because of the jobs numbers that we got today? Well, the job numbers weren't as bad as people were expecting. I wouldn't say right. it was a good report. In fact, if you look beneath the surface, it gets even worse. We didn't create any manufacturing jobs. We created a bunch of low-paying service sector jobs. A lot of them are part-time. Hours work went down. I think what's happening is you have restaurants that are reducing the hours worked to get people under 30 hours to get out from under Obamacare. And so now they have to hire somebody part-time to fill up the slack. Those are the kind of jobs we're getting. Look at the U6 on employment, which doesn't count those people uh, as being employed, it notched up to 13.9 percent. What do you think about that, Michael Farr? You're on the other side of that trade, I aren't you? Peter's well, yes and no. I mean, I don't think Peter's wrong here, Maria, but, I mean, the market's moving higher. We've got a Fed that's got its foot to the floor here. We've got lots and lots of cash coming in. We've got Maria wearing her green jacket on the floor of the exchange when the market's making new highs. I mean, come on, how can you bet against that market? Relative to bonds, stocks continue to be attractive. I'm always cautious as I manage other people's money, but... This trend is going higher, and I don't think we're anywhere near some sort of frothy blow-off stage yet. So yeah. while stock selection gets to be very important, I think this thing has room certainly to go. It could pull back in the short term, but we'll see higher levels. Yeah, well, we got the buy on the dip mentality very much in place, Michael. So even if we were to pull back, that's that's uh, got buyers uh, at the ready here. But let me ask you a question about the Federal Reserve, because at the end of the day, it really is about the Fed. When do you think that the Fed is going to start winding it down? You know, I, I, I listened to Steve Leisman earlier on, on your show, and I thought he made a very good point. They're sort of adjusting out a couple of months sometime in 2014 as to when they may pull back. The Fed's been keeping our campfire of this economy alive by pouring kerosene on it. Will it have a life of its own and continue to burn without that kerosene? That's the real question. Yeah. But, you know, what I can yeah, say not, It's not Peter a question is, in my mind. You, you don't want to listen Peter. to Steve Leisman. But, you know, the, 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 the Ben Bernanke <laughs> no, is going to keep to printing Steve. until the dollar crashes. Right? There is no exit strategy. But, the Fed is bluffing. We have a completely phony economy that is driven 100% by cheap money. The minute you take it away, but they, the whole thing implodes. But Ben Bernanke can't they admit may not that need, because then, you know, the cat's out of the bag. Mm. So the QE is going to be here until we have a crisis a in the while, dollar and the Fed can't get away with it anymore. They could hold it for a while, Peter. They don't have to absolutely excess out of that, uh, exit out of that huge portfolio. But won't you admit sort of that the can general exit. trend in the economic data is improving? It's not. It's only, it only looks like it's improving because of the cheap money. And they cannot exit. Exit is impossible. Okay. The, they are the, the bond market. Improving. They're the buyers. They can't the, sell. The data what? are improving yeah. because of the cheap money and because of what the, what the Fed's doing. We hope that we will hit some sort of escape velocity and the economy no. can take on a momentum of its own. No, when the, the cheap Fed money is back. making That's it worse. We're it's to taking see. a sick economy and making it sicker. It only yeah, no, feels but, good. Just like if you're Peter, a drug addict and you take more drugs, you feel better, but you're not Peter. getting healthier. The yeah, cheap money is preventing the economy from I've getting healthier. I've always wanted to figure out that drug addict thing. I've never gotten to onto that one yet. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this, Peter, because, I mean, you... You make a lot of good points, but at the end of the day, this is reality. This is where we are. The Federal Reserve is on QE infinity, and that's the bottom line. Just yesterday, they said, look, we could even increase it from here. So this is the reality that we face. Whether or not this is a manufactured market or not, basically suggesting what you just said, uh, you've got no alternatives to stock. So why am I going to get in front of this? Oh, yes, trade? you do. What is my alternative? I mean, look, you know, copper was Where's up 6.5% today. So look at the big copper? move up in oil. Copper? But 
You could invest in foreign stocks. The dollar was actually softer today. But I know what the reality is. The reality is we're living in a bubble. But all bubbles burst. It's unfortunate we didn't learn that lesson in 2008, but we're about to learn a much bigger lesson. Because when this bubble burst, it's going to make 2008 look like a Sunday school picnic. All right, you, so you you're really have to be careful, I think, because Greenspan. You're expecting, you're expecting Green to span, sell off to, 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 what the, to the likes of what we saw in 2008? No, no, I'm not talking about the stock market. I'm talking about the U.S. economy. The next, the next collapse is in the value of our money, the dollar. All right, prices skyrocket for consumer goods. Forget about uh, stock prices. What about when people well, are waiting in line to buy food, prices. waiting in it's line not, to get gasoline because the dollar's prices. collapsed? That's what's coming. Yeah, well, but well, Maria, what, what one, one, I got to push back on this. What currency am I going to go go in if not the dollar? <laughs> What do I want to go? Well, you, there there are a lot Bitcoin? of other currencies, but you know, you can just have real money, Maria. You, you can own some gold because the central banks gold. can't print that. But and, and, there are a lot of I other currencies that are in better shape. Go ahead. What if I get caught in the largest sell-off in 30 years, like what happened just a couple of weeks ago? The what? what yeah, look, look where gold is. 14, 1500. It's gone from under 300. Have you ever seen a bull market that didn't have a correction? You know, why don't you buy this dip? Don't worry about all this media talking about the crash in in the gold market. Market. The gold market is in a much bigger bull market than the stock market, and I think a few years from now, the Dow is going to be at a much le lower level relative to gold than it is today by All far. Right. Back in, 19 in 2000, the Dow was 40 ounces of gold. Now it's yeah. only about 10. It's been, well, you know, it's going a lot lower. I got you. I hear you. By the way, I don't know that it's media hype. It actually happened. I mean, gold plummeted just a couple of weeks ago. It was the worst day but, in 30 Maria. years. So I, it's, it's not just media yeah. hype. So it's what? actually happened. It's, Final yeah, word. Yeah, I know. Well, it went down, but look how much I'm it sorry. went up, Maria. and look where it still is. Mm. Meanwhile, <laughs> it's gone up over $100, $120 an ounce since then. Are you covering that? I know. Gold versus dividend-paying securities. Gold versus dividend-paying hey. securities that are gaining from the growth it's in hot spots outside the U.S. It's not mm. gold versus stocks, too. It's gold okay. versus the dollar. The dollar doesn't pay any dividends. Yeah. Put it in the no, bank. What do you get? Nothing. Bottom line, I'm looking for alternatives to owning stocks. I can't find many. You've got the last word, Michael Farr. Well, you can own foreign stocks. It's here. not as dangerous. We own a lot Maria, of them. Maria, in 19, Maria, in 1997, in November, Alan Greenspan, when the Dow was 6,000, said irrational exuberance yep, at 6,000. Eight months later, eight months later, we were at 8,000. Now, I don't think Greenspan was wrong, but he was off by 33% in terms of a market move in eight months. We, if you can't predict these things, you've got to be very careful about calling market tops when you get this well, much momentum behind this you, much money I, I'm in I'm not motion. calling a market top, but I think the market was irrational. It just got even more irrational, and it's a Thank lot you. more irrational today if people think that the, the strength of the stock market indicates anything other than inflation. That's that's all this way, is. It's a debasement way, of money, no question, and people you have are to buying be stocks you have to get to out of cash. I think when he said irrational exuberance, uh, PEs were much higher than where they are right now. I recognize the market's much higher, but you're talking about a 14 PE. we got to continue this next time, yeah, guys. Thanks so Maria, much. where are those earnings coming Thanks, from? Maria. A lot of companies are borrowing money cheap and buying back their stock. That's yeah. not real earnings. That I agree with. Thank you so yeah. much. And Jack. they have we'll a lot of debt. Too. Corporations have a lot of debt. Uh, when interest a lot of rates cash go up, too. it's they not going to be a pretty picture. Too, Peter. A lot of cash. Trillion in cash. They, they, borrowed, have a ton they of cash. borrowed to get it. Uh, and a lot of that cash is offshore. <laughs> they can't bring it home. The taxes are too high. Gentlemen, thank you.